So we're gonna put some size on for him when we cut him down. Right. So, yeah. So, we're bringing it up to. Uh, what are you? 150 right now. So I was, I was 297 uh, this morning. Uh, okay. Uh, maybe we'll get you up to 320 and then bring you back down. That's where I was now on show. So. didn't compete at the level I did. And they're like, dude, aren't you in pain? And I'm like, no, I feel fucking great. But listen, I'm not getting under four plates anymore and squatting and I'm, dude, I did 135, it's a joke. So like the bodybuilders need to like get the tissue work done. You need to be able to be flexible because that's how a healthy muscle is gonna perform and stay healthy. So the tissue work is so fucking important yeah. too. Yeah, because I raised the you, know you know, they're salty, they're salty as fuck. Though. You ever eat them? <laughs> I've never ate one. I've seen them. Yeah. Duck My eggs. dad used to give them to me and tell me you got to eat these. <laughs> he told me I'm eating the chickens couldn't keep up with the eggs. <laughs> so my dad was pissed because every morning he'd bring it. He's like, how the fuck did you eat all those eggs already? Because the chickens would only lay so many eggs, you know? <laughs> yeah. And I'd be so mad because my dad would bring the eggs in. No, we'd have goose eggs. Oh, yeah. That's what he'd give me. Goose eggs are salty, but he would, wouldn't clean the fucking shells. You know, it was just, he would th oh, just yeah. grab them and put them. No, the chickens would fucking. No, I know. They're... And they're bloody and shit with hair on them, and they'd be in the fucking cartons. And you can't crack the egg over the pan because it's dirty, right? The shit stuck to them. So I used to be so mad. I'm like, Dad, you gotta fucking clean the eggs out when you take them out. <laughs> <laughs> but he was so mad, and he's like, 
why don't you eat these damn uh, goose eggs? Because <laughs> the chickens can't lay enough eggs. So I'm eating dirty eggs for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't tell me he was to grow up on a farm like that. Oh, man, I didn't know you. You, you, you have a one word answer, son. I didn't know. If you, I didn't want to blow you up. I didn't know if you yeah, gave yeah, a fuck yeah. or not. I was like, you're this guy. You're like, he looks good. And I was like, all right, cool. That was like the first two years of training was literally just shit on the farm, and now we got like a pretty good gym in the basement of the farm. So oh, you train out there. But you're not there that much though. I'm going back on Monday for and start swapping. So I'll be gone until school starts, which is only like two weeks. So we gone for a couple weeks at the farm, then back university. Do you find it hard though? Does your family expect you to stay part of the whole farming thing? My dad didn't want me to, like I was in concrete. Yeah. And when I made the transition to bodybuilding at 18, like I, I found the gym because I was at a crossroads, I was going to college to be a police officer and then the family business like was mine basically. And I'm like, man, I don't want to do concrete the rest of my life. And you know, our farm wasn't like a function. Now my brother actually got more going now since he quit. Um, since I stopped doing it, but uh, he built more cows and everything. But yeah. uh, the concrete was the main focus. But they were pretty. Uh, were they resistant to you becoming like? Well, I'm still involved with it, right? And I'm kind of staying involved until I'm done school, and then start my own career. But you're done in school in a year. Yeah. Do you think you'll turn up the bodybuilding, like? Well, I, I definitely want to. No, no, that's. A, Bodybuilding is definitely my number one. When are you going to compete next, do you think? Do you have an idea? Like you have I was a thinking the year after this one. So like a year and a half. So 21? Well, I just look at my photos. Like in every year, I get close to filling out my frame. I need you. Yeah. I'm just, I don't want to do a whole fucking prep. And you know, 10 pounds heavier or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was weird. My first goal in bodybuilding, it wasn't to go pro or anything. I just want to be 300 pounds. And now, everyone wants to be 300, then you hit 300. <laughs> no, but now I'm like fucking, this morning I was three pounds off of it. Well, you're only a pizza away, bro. <laughs> Just don't take a shit. Where, <laughs> where's the best Jump on. Jump on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, That's so, it. Yeah, then you realize it's just shitty looking. <laughs> when did you see him for the first time? Fuck, when did I see you? You showed up? I was... Was I that was, at school? I was, was at school? studying it. In the library, the business library at school, I wasn't and he works there. on his computer, <laughs> and I know he was there because all the hot chicks at the U of S study in that library. Is that why? And then yeah. he fucking walks in one day, and like we just knew each other on Instagram for whatever reason, and he just comes up, he's like, "You Travis Smith or something?" And, he, yeah. and then we. And from there, I I was in town. I was living in Regina, and I needed to do some work. I was staying at buddies. I don't know what I was doing up there, and. Um, Usually I'll just hit a coffee shop and I'm just hitting my own mind and hitting emails and I was like, well, fuck, I used to go to U of S. So I'm like, I'll just go to the business room, like, there's some good looking people there and it's just like, it's a good place to be. So I just pulled up there and then uh, I saw this guy just absolutely okay. fucking mowing some chicken and rice and I was like, that's definitely Trav. And uh, so yeah, I just pulled up beside him and then that's when I actually told you about Jake, I was just back from Australia or yeah. something and I told him that we made a connect. And, we were chatting about oh, that. Oh yeah, that's right, yeah. Because I, I, I knew he'd be our first, first topic of conversation. Yeah. How did you, um, how did we link up in Australia though? The, the, most, you, the, the most insane thing, I make the pictures of Roland because this is crazy still when I tell the one this. Like, so we, I met you at my first show when I was 14. That was probably yeah, 2011, yeah. right? That was here. And so, um, I was traveling Australia by myself, just doing this whole diversion training and I was just by myself. and. I saw that the Melbourne Auto class was coming up. So I literally put an email together. I'm like, you know, I'm gonna send it off to Jay. Uh, what the fuck else did I send it off to? Kai or it was, it was his email on the, you know, on the Instagram, right? So I was just hitting these emails and I was just like, hey, whatever it said, you know, I'm 21, 22 at the time. Uh, you know, I'm just doing my own thing. What if we could link up outside of the expo? A shot in the dark, didn't they? And then you, you it, was, it wasn't even five minutes. And you hit me back, you're like, hey bro, here's my number send me a text on Friday when I land. And I was in my hostel in Australia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like looking at my phone and I was like, he was staying oh, in like their phone. I'm in a hostel, I was yeah, working yeah. at the hostel. Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> I'm working at the hostel and I'm like, what the fuck? So I didn't know it was like a manager or who the hell yeah, it was, because yeah, yeah. it, like it was your number. And so I played it cool. I just, I just put, sounds good, man. I'll, I'll hit you up. And then I, and so I'm like telling everyone around my hostel and I'm like, can't fly to Melbourne. 
on Friday and I'm supposed to text Jay Cutler, but I, I still was like, I don't know if this is his number. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is the most impressive thing ever because I still didn't really know you at all, but I sent you that picture when I was 14 and I sent you my Instagram. So I pulled to the expo by myself. You have the biggest line at the Melbourne Expo and I pulled up a little late. So I'm in line for like an hour and a half roughly waiting. Get to you. And I'm next in line, so you're, you know, taking a picture or whatever, then you look and you see me, and you literally go, Adam, what the fuck, man? Why you just, like, what are you doing waiting in line? Why, why don't you come up? And I looked at her and I was like, because I don't know you, man. I'm not going to just roll up. And you're, like, you're like, yeah, what are you doing? Like, get in here. And I'm like, fuck How old you? were you? That was two years ago. Two years ago. Two years. Yeah, two years ago. So I'm like, how did you, <laughs> just from an email, I'm like, how the fuck does this guy remember my name after all these people? And then, yeah, you're like, yeah, you want to get a training session? And I was like, Sounds good. So then Sunday came around, so I actually yeah, used yeah, that yeah. number. And then you're like, hey, we don't mind if I bring the guy. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I don't care. That's fine. And, and we went and trained chest at oh, that. Yeah, I remember seeing that. At that little gym. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that was Doherty's. Yeah, it, had the, it was under yeah. the fucking the railroad track. Yeah, the dome one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. so we went and trained chest. Everyone in the first one. Yeah, that was the first one. The first and one. and, and you was talking about, like, trying to figure out how the fuck you knew. Everyone. Yeah, everyone. Yeah. And you were, that's when you taught guy to chew the cord for the fucking uh, Yeah, and then, and then he, and, 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 well, because I do that and, and when I'm training, everyone chirps me around. He said you copied him. Oh, fuck, that, he copied me, man. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was just doing that, and then he screenshotted your story, and then yeah, he goes, yeah. look at, because that's when you came back three weeks later to the, the oh, yeah, Sydney right, Expo, yeah, yeah, and then yeah, I followed right. you around there, yeah. and we went for that session, and I put my cord in when you were spotting me, and then yeah. guy screenshotted from on his story, he goes, Jay's fucking teaching these pigs how to chew on their cords or something like that. Did we train when we were in Sydney too? Yeah, with that, uh... Yeah. Oh, uh, John. I think that he was... I did the interview. Younger, good-looking yeah, kid. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. The boxer kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He had a podcast or something. I did the podcast at the hotel. Because mm -hmm. Guzman was there too then, right? Guzman was there, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah you and Guzman both had, both had the big, biggest line. Back but back. it's funny because I sat and talked to him, you know, and I... He said at one point he wanted to be a professional bodybuilder. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And this was a we had this conversation just like I had with you, and I'm like, hey, you know, how far do you want to take this thing? And da 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 da. And then he realized that he was better on the other side, like with the coaching stuff, and like how far is he going to take it being yeah. genetically yeah. like. Not well, we had we had that honest conversation. I was like, you're like, are you going to compete again? And I'm like, listen, I, I miss it. It's not that you know the dedication's not there. I love it, but like it just comes a, a time. And this is why I said you word for word. And in my opinion, you know, like. You just know, like genetically, like if I in my head, I was like, if I can't take it to Olympia stage, which at, at, at the point I'm, like, I know I'm not going to be able to get there. There's no fucking. You but know. he has a passion for the training stuff, you know. Absolutely. Like, yeah. He's learned a lot through trial and error. What age did you start training at? Fourteen. Oh, he was. I, just, I competed when I was fourteen. Yeah. When did I meet you? What age was that? Fourteen. Yeah. I compete. That's when I was on stage when I was fourteen. So I, I started. I got my. I got a trainer. When I was 13, that's when I just started learning about nutrition and everything, and then I got on stage when I was 14. What was the last show you did? What age? Uh, I was 18. Uh, I did the uh, World Qualifiers, which was all national nationals in Winnipeg. I won provincials in the junior category when I was 16 in Saskatoon at the Savage Show. Yeah. And then uh, I went to the, yeah, that IP World Qualifiers when I was 18, and then that was it.